guys, Underdog Jess here. Welcome back to my Persona 5 Royal Let's Play. Last episode was a bit of a spicy one. We went to the whole like school festival thing and then Sojuro find found out about our little secret, so to speak. Oh yeah, and the big thing, um, Akechi figured out who we were and that the Phantom Thieves were us. So yeah, that was... I would say it's kind of a plot twist, but I already knew about it. <laughs> but the first time I played it was a plot twist. But this episode we need to find the true culprit and decide on whether or not we want Akechi to join us. So before we get into it, just feel free to hit the like button, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. Which would actually help quite a lot. If you really liked it, then feel free to subscribe for future videos and let's plays. I mentioned it a few times, but I've got another quite a big game in the works that I want to do after this, so if I get the interest for it, then I will go ahead and finally turn on the bell and hit all notifications. So, with all that out of the way, let's just get into it. Ah, uh, Futaba is in our bedroom. I just noticed. Futaba, you're too young. Go go home. Ren, Ren needs to go sleep now, okay? Go home. Sorry. It's my fault. All this happened because I kept the calling card. <sighs> it's so late already. Is Sojuro still awake? This is kind of awkward. Go home or he will worry. I'm gonna go home. Good idea. You don't want to stay with a stinky 16 year old boy anyway. Right. Bye Futaba. Now. Listen here cat. Oh you're depressed as well. Okay I won't be mean to you then. Fine, I won't go downstairs. Can I train? Yep. Yep. Anything? <sighs> Anything at all? <sighs> Fine, I'll go to bed, Morgana. Oh my god, you're turning into like my mama or something. I thought they already used that joke before. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. Oh, Comfy Daddy's watching <sighs> politics stuff. We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives, and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. I'm Those looking. who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. Who and bought? considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. Well, report me. Let's go halves on it. That's insane. <laughs> I hope you understand the situation. Yes, here. I know. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. We're prepared Why to take that risk. Does this happen? I didn't know it would. I see. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. It's not like he actively decided, oh yeah, I'm gonna like become this like vigilante hero of justice kind of person and get some people supporting me and then make us the most wanted quote criminals in Japan. Like, it, it was just kind of lost upon him. Like, he can't really help it. Give him a break, Sojuro. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, alright? Believe in me. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. Coffee Dad, you're so nice! I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. 
I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. Don't we think Coffee Dad is like the true MVP? Like sacrificing all that money so he can protect us. Like leave a hit the thumbs up button for Coffee Dad. He's great. With this. The Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. Yep. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Oh, really? Are you sure about that? Hey, <laughs> great! I can't believe how big the bounty is. We should look for them ourselves. Akechi suggested they go to this school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There have been too many mental shutdowns as is. It will probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around. But 30 million yen. Just let me dream a little. Yo, you see the news? I had raised myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us feels kind of weird. No one asked you, Beans. I'm not sure we're gonna get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good though. Let's talk more in person. We're wanted now. And the yep. reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. Yep. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start. After we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap nothing of the sort. Pretty There's smart, the actually. Jet and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What? So this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. Guys, and stop arguing. Was thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided Haru, that my you're not was to blame. All I could think about was my fiance. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly. Haru. It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kubayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ah! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey. What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? We lost sight of our goal. It's probably because... We weren't acting like ourselves. Yes, it got to a point Agreed. where they just the cared about what. Really cared about the opinion of the general yeah. public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. It got to a point where they were just doing it for fame and popularity and stuff like that, and they actually forgot the whole reason they were doing this in the first place. Yep. I became a 
phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults. Self-aware being interesting. Since we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong, that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too, but still, it's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah, we'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? We can do it, guys. Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Ren, they're looking at you for guidance. Give them a good answer. Let's turn the tables. Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Good job, Futaba. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Who's calling me? Hey, uh, it's me. Hey, VUG. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. It's I fine, it. I understand. Uh, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. You too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a phantom thief because I thought even someone <laughs> like just me popping could his head. It just, made me yep, so happy yep, to be the yep. one. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shit bags, but I must be the shittiest of shit bags. I can't even joke about it. You going to give up? <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Exactly. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. See, he may be vulgar and loud and obnoxious, but he's a really good guy deep down. I got a message from Akechi-kun. He wants to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is, trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this too. We'll be okay, right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're going to overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. Well, see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Okay. But can I do anything? Or are you still stealing my evenings away from me? You okay, Coffee Dad? Still in shock? Yeah, but you but you didn't know you were housing a phantom thief, did you? Hey! Let's read something. Hey. Humans experience sorrow when they fail to reach om omniscience. Mm. Stories about people from the past, I'm suspicious of how true they are. Whoa. You've gained a lot of wisdom.
Well, time to sleep right after I get my coffee. Bye, Becky. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Oh, it's a giant. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. Shut up already. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm going to vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. And it's a catchy tune. you say that you want us to cooperate with you? What exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? No. Quit effing around. Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. Hmm. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai Sun. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Yep. Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? Yeah, you it don't realize how corrupt the police can actually Their be. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. Mm -hmm. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> What do you mean? 
You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. Yep, he's intense. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? Yeah, so much, actually. True. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? We will. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. You don't this look very worried. This can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now, but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. We're gonna target her sister. Then, she's kind of. Tomorrow. I'm sorry. She feels I'm like she's betraying her sister, but she also doesn't want to betray Wasn't those guys. Was acting a bit weird? Yeah, it's so. Uh, it's about her sister. Come on, guys. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. It should go well. Oh, I'm being muted into the interrogation room. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi-kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's right. That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? What are you talking about? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus! It seems you're completely worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? 
I haven't lost yet. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. Yeah, confused yet? <laughs> no, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll Devo be going technology. to the Ninjima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that! You tell her too! <laughs> That's impressive. Don't fall for it! Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. Now for today's train news. First off, the investigation team has announced new progress in the search for the Phantom Thieves. Okay. Stuff about Phantom Thieves and the politic, uh, politic thing or something. I guess I, I don't know. When are we? Where are we meeting today? All right. We never told. We were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. What's that? In the government office district. Kasumi Gaseki. That's a long name. Oh, I've heard of it, never been there. No, me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Just looking, looking at the map is impressive. The police department, Ministry of Justice. Public Prosecutor's Office and Public Security. The Diet Building is right near there too. For real? What kind of scary place are we going to? We won't get caught, right? According to Akechikun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So we are just going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory. Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on guard. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. Mm -hmm. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then... Yep. <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? 
Kaba! You can't do that! You're so lucky! I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right! Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. <laughs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? Good personality, good looks, nice voice as well. She about his hair though. <laughs> we need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? It's a courthouse. I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been met. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai san in you. <sighs> it's okay, well, Koto. It's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. Get ready for it, guys. Right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <laughs> he spoke. <laughs> Best palace in the entire game. The courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. Sure, Morgana. The station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases. I have brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. Reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then. Oh. Perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our code names are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Yeah, sure. Karasu. 
He'd be the only Japanese sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. <coughs> now then. This is as usual. And you guys all know we have to have a catchy here, don't we? Alright, let's roll boys. Stop running. The cool boys only walk, okay? Stop running guys, we're supposed to be cool, okay? Guys, seriously, stop running. You're you're kind of ruining this whole like thing. Akechi, what the hell are you doing? Okay. So, this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that game? <laughs> It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. No, it's an amazing costume. This is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. <laughs> yep. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. Skull, <laughs> he's just the own Jill. <laughs> it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Just because Skull doesn't understand, he thinks everyone else doesn't understand, but he doesn't realize he's actually really, really stupid. <laughs> not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful, particularly of those in positions of power. Mm -hmm. Is this what you have to go through every time? That's right. Hmm. This is a first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. <laughs> okay, it's time to head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card, as always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? Yes, yeah, don't get so excited. My apologies. <laughs> well then, let's go. He's like an excitable child. I feel somewhat nervous. Well then, let us begin by securing our route. Alright boys, you know the drill? Stop running! How many times do I have to tell you guys? Stop running! Oh, there's a treasure demon. Well, what are you weak to? That's the thing. Crow! Crow! Crow, what are you doing? Now, Robin, breathe and move on. Let's go. Die. Surprisingly tough. Yeah. It's tough. Go. Power up. Nice. Thanks, Mitchaba. Time. 
Damn it, it ran away. I'm so sad. We still got quite a lot of money out of it though, so it could have been worse. Also, guys, if I have to tell you to stop running one more time, I'm going in this palace on my own. Got it? Okay, let's go. Okay, Ryuji, you're, you're out. Bye, Ryuji. Okay, come on, guys. But don't run. Listen. Okay, Crow, you're gone too. Right, Yusuke, it's just you and me now. So don't run because I, I need your help here. So just like, take it slow and just walk like a cool guy. You know what? Fine. I'm on my own. Thanks, guys. You hate me that much. Yeah, okay, enough of that. I can't do this palace all on my own. Hold on. Can I go this way? I can't go that way. Oh well. Very well. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. Oh, hey, she can see us. You're after the treasure, are you not? Come on down, and I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. What do you want, Sai? So you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, sure. I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. Over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. Let us get after her, Joker. Hold on. Did we ever tell Akechi our code name? Interesting. That those guys are locked. No figure. Okay, there's a treasure chest. Oh, so there is. Hold on. Yeah, it's got like a chessboard on the treasure chest. That's cool. I never noticed that before. Rest here. Okay. 
Can I talk to you? What are you thinking? Also, the way you're sat just pisses me off. <laughs> okay, elevator time. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak. Just give me it straight. Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even so have you areas have to admit you're for particular ranks of players. Actually, no, do admit you're Considering stupid. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you, after all. I have high expectations. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. Oh, you have such a way with words, Akechi. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry, you can leave this one to me. Very well. Take them down, Robin Hood! Also, it showed off his persona like we haven't just seen it fighting the treasure demon. Manifest. Persona! Ravage them! So Quill's got some moves! This is my other self! So Crow, now is not the time to be squatting, okay? Let's see his all out attack. Beat him up. Learned your lesson? He actually dances. That's amazing. Hmm. You're not so bad. And I am capable of much more. Now then, let us deal with the shadows quickly. Wait. Doesn't it doesn't sound like we're, we're gonna get ambushed based on what we heard earlier. You're right. I agree, I'd like to deal with them as quick as we can. But now that we have an infiltration route, I suggest we return for now and prepare. Very well, I trust your experience and judgement. Let us do that. Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We will need to explain the steps we take though. That's unnecessary. First we secure an infiltration route, then send the calling card, correct? In doing so, the core of the ruler's distorted, des distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. By taking that core, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps would be something along those lines. A plus. It ain't as <laughs> Ryuji, you sound jealous. I'm not underestimating anything, I assure you. By the way, Nijima son's shadow seemed really confident. Yeah, there's no knowing what may await. Let's continue cautiously. Very well. You will let me know when you enter the palace, yes? <laughs> if I feel like it. Come now, there's no need for hostility. <laughs> I would simply have to come to LeBlanc every day in that case. That's enough for now, let's... He's actually got pretty good sense of humour, it's just in a very different way, I guess. My apologies for somewhat derailing this conversation. We'll be counting on you, Akechi. The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you've got. Okay. 
This is a rare opportunity. I'd like to steal Nijima's, Nijima's heart. Ugh. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about Mishima. Oh my god, he's so annoying. If you made it this far into the video, comment down below your opinion of Akechi's Phantom Thief outfit and also what you think of Mishima. Kindness is still a long way off apparently. Very well. Time to clean. Sorry. Are you sure you're serious? And look at that. Nice and sparkling clean. Okay, coffee time. Hi. See you later. Bye. The time has finally come. No matter what happens, we have to change her heart. Right. I'll be counting on you. We may all have our own unique way of doing things, but we should just proceed forward as usual. Leave it to me. Don't worry, I trust you. That's why I ask that you lend me your help. Hey. You have our trust, you're our leader after all. They all really rely on him, it's kind of wholesome in a way. Okay. Mission starts. Cool. Now who can I hang out with? Ryuji, stop. We've only just started this. Stop. Ha just stop. Morning. Let's hang out. We'll be fine. Time. Step into my office, friend. <laughs> what office? You're 15. All right. Okie dokie, let's get started on this promise list. The first one is go somewhere with lots of people. I've got a perfect place. Mm -hmm. Akihabara Wars Revenge of the Fruit Harbor. Okay. <laughs> You're going to Akihabara. Be careful. We will be careful, Coffee Dad, don't you worry. Did you see that tablet earlier? Whoever drew that picture was the real pro. Not as good as Inari though. He's got a particularly pervy view on art. <laughs> he kind of does. <laughs> What's going on? There's a super limited sale in the PC section. Three terabytes for only 500 yen. That's so cheap! Get one, Futaba! Mayday, mayday, I'm trapped in the home of Lion's Kingdom. The three terabyte war rages on outside. There are just so many people. I don't know if I can last much longer. The cock <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> oh, there she is. There you are. I, 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 uh... So you're okay? I'm not okay. I'm not okay at all. I'm like, no okay. I was super scared. I didn't think I was going to see you until the end of time. <laughs> Come on, Futaba. Stop overreacting. But then a wild wren appeared. That's a Pokemon reference. Ah, uh, you're the one who appeared. Did you summon me? Hmm? 
Wait a minute. I just finished a promise. Go somewhere with lots of people. Oh. Well, am I awesome or what? It's all because of the three terabyte war though. Oh, and because you brought me here. <laughs> I, Futaba Sakura, hereby thank thee. She's so innocent. It's actually so endearing. All right. I don't know though, I panicked hard when I was soloing that dungeon. I think not being with you is kind of scary then. Alright All right, then, I'm gonna add another goal to my list, being okay without you around. It might be a long quest line, but I'll finish it someday. Okay, going home. So we came here, she got lost, then we went home. Great, thanks for the day out, Futaba. Hey, it's me. Thanks for, thanks for your help today. So I beat the go somewhere with lots of people goal. First try too. Not bad. I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to beat being okay without you around. But at this pace, I, I will clear it in no time. Right? We'll both do our best. I got this. I don't care how hard the quests are. I'll take them all. Anyway, I guess the point is I gotta grind for now. Leveling, leveling up for a big encounter is basic stuff. I'm gonna do research. Talk to you later. <sighs> You're back. Well, how do I put this? I'm glad you made it home. Are you worried about me, Coffee Dad? Yo, Akechi. <laughs> Ryuji was just like, Yo, Akechi. <laughs> That's not how you greet people you're not really friends with. What is it? You got any idea who the true culprit might be? Oh yeah, you said you saw a masked guy, right? I wanted to ask you about that too. Did you really see him? That guy's gotta be the true culprit, right? If this so-called true culprit is acting alone, then there can be no mistake about it. I see. The next question is, who is that masked man? Unfortunately, I do not know that much. Ugh, you're useless. <laughs> Futaba. That is quite harsh. Oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> that wasn't a compliment. At this, at this point, I have yet to grasp any, any clues. But once this is dealt with, I will surely capture him. I promise you that. Can you do it? Do you not trust me? It may sound somewhat odd for me to say this, but I am, a, I am an exceptional detective. I assure you I will catch this guy. He doesn't have any clues, but he's confident enough to say he can definitely catch the guy. Hmm. No wonder he's a star detective. Even the way he talks about these things is different from us. Also, look at all the people in Halloween yeah. costumes. I want to I wanna be in a Halloween costume. I want to see Ren dress up as a sexy witch. Or, actually, no. Ren would suit being like a sexy vampire or something more. Like, a female one. I don't know what I'm saying at this point, just ignore me. Um, yeah, we need to go see Iwai. Never mind, what do you two want? What are you gonna do today? No. I'll take two bits. What'll you do? Let's go, inmate. Onward, inmate. We want to see what humans call art. <sighs> I see. Our prior information was correct. There seem to be a great number of objects on display here. Are these all art exhibits? I've heard of them before. Apparently they involve humans' aesthetic senses or something. Let's go inspect. Are you even capable of appreciating art properly? What? What do you mean by that? Stop shouting, the signs prohibit it. I know. Anyway, let's go appreciate some art already. <sighs> uh, 
the number of pieces on display far exceeded my expectations. Art showed the state many forms though. Some of the work was downright photorealistic. Actually, wouldn't it be easier to just take photos in those situations? And what with the, those portraits or whatever they're called? What's the point of painting a giant human face? Those landscapes are even more incompre incomprehensible. What's so interesting about paintings of some dull terrain? Why is it fun in painting living humans or scenery just so other just so that other humans can look at it? Uh self satisfaction, I guess. So you mean to say that artists only craft what they want to see exist? And then they just sit back and listen to people discuss and appreciate their work in places like this. Such a pointless gest gesture, yet so human at the same time. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this now. Say, so, did you see the painting that looked like a bunch of scribbles? Apparently it's worth 500 million yen. What? Even my youngest could make something that looked like that. I wholly agree with you. This requires further study. So a great deal of interesting displays, but that last sculpture we saw, there was nothing but a tasteless reproduction of a naked body. Are you really going to tell me that counts as art too? I thought this human concept of beauty simply took many forms, but it has spread all the way into the realm of the bizarre. Why do humans even pursue this beauty in the first place? Do you also waste your efforts striving towards beauty, inmate? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's an accurate answer for him, I guess. <laughs> we'll see how you feel after I stuff you into a trash can. Well, that's not very nice, Caroline, is it? <laughs> but anyway, we've seen the art that humans are so fond of. This assignment is complete. Here's your reward. They're gonna paint the guillotine. The master. Fine. Let's go home. Interesting. <laughs> Where do you find that stupendous confidence? <laughs> That's an amazing line. Good morning. Oh hey Makoto. My sister is serious. Her determination to win this fight is reflected in that casino. She won't be easy to beat. I know that better than anyone. I'm I want aware. to understand our situation as soon as possible. Let's go to the palace today. Calm down. Sorry. Perhaps I am getting a bit too high strung, but I can't think? bear seeing my sister like this. We'll stop her, no matter what. If you're going by any chance, let me know. I'll make sure I'm ready at a moment's notice. Uh, let's read. Uh, I have one for kindness. Actually, that might be useful. Nice. Oh. Oh, 
All right. You can now use third eye when playing darts. This increases your focus when preparing to throw a dart, making it easier to hit where you aim. Nice. <sighs> That's actually really useful. Hey! My. Let's hang out. Is this perhaps part of your grand infiltration strategy? It's a secret. <laughs> hey. Hey. Sure. this of you it's all good not like I have customers to deal with so this is what you grew yes I'd like an honest opinion from a culinary professional let me see to be honest both the tastes and appearance are the opposite of what I'd call market grade I see but it's impressive you managed to grow anything at all up on a rooftop of all places. I'm honored to hear you say that. You know, I can't say it tasted good, but it was actually somewhat refreshing. Kind of like how you feel good after taking bitter medicine. Hmm. I first came across the plant in my house. It's possible that it's an experimental breed created for use at Okumura Foods. Thank you very much for the input, Sakura-san. I'll take note of that. Haru's vegetables have a bitterness to, to them, but they also exude a strong energy. He's right. That was the same thought I had. I think I understand what Sakura-san meant when he said they were refreshing. They seem to fill me with energy. They may prove useful during palace forays. I agree. I'm so happy. I didn't expect this hobby of mine to provide value to the Phantom Thieves. This is actually the only thing I can honestly say I'm good at. You don't have to do this. But it's what I want to do. And I'm sure there are other things you're good do at you too. Think you could help me out again sometime? Like you did today? Sure. It's a deal. <laughs> We're like real phantom thieves. Okay, like, I'll do we have real from phantom thieves. Yeet! It seems you were probing into a certain conglomerate. There's the possibility you even infiltrated their company building. Perhaps some sort of connection? Tell me about this person. Nah. It's with the yeah, yeah, Empress. We know. Cultivation allows you to grow vegetables with horror on the Shujin Academy roof. All right. They're full of energy and grant a variety of effects. Effects when used as items. Still, he was right. The taste leaves much to be desired. Yeah, but practice makes perfect. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Your feedback was a big help. Oh, if there are any vegetables you'd like in particular, just let me know. I certainly have plenty of seeds, so if you have a preference, I will, I will prioritize growing those first. Sounds good. Leave it to me. After all, this is my own way of contributing to the Phantom Thieves. Alright, I'm going home for the day. Goodbye. Bye. <sighs> You're back. Sorry. All I can do is welcome you home.
Can I hang out with the Ikechi yet? Wait. Nope, not yet. I'm so sad. I want to hang out with Ikechi! Okay, Jess. Calm down. It's not that bad. It's not that much of a, a bad thing that you can't hang out with Ikechi. I'm okay. Really, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go in here for a little bit and just cry. Let's go work at Crossroads. If we can. Oh, honey. Yeah, can you just shut up already? Oh. Hmm. Let's do Thank it. Thank you. Oh? Yeah, I bet you've been here all day and I bet you reek of booze, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's all you. Oh. Evening. I'm oh. here. You're in a good mood today? Well, have a seat. Oh, honey. Oh, so Shinsuke Kishi is the boss you've been having problems with, right? Not anymore, I don't know what happened, but he's like a changed man. He suddenly said I'm sorry for everything and then apologised in tears to each of us. He went from being the man his subordinates hate most to becoming the perfect boss. You think the Phantom Thieves did something I to help mean... me? Who knows, if they did though, you have a lot to be grateful about. Hey, hey. Did you hear? Yes, I heard. It seems we successfully changed his heart. <laughs> Huge order coming through. Very well. Nice work, honey. And I got quite a lot of money See for that. Did my kindness increase though? Yep. Hmm. This still hasn't ranked up. Come on. What do I have to do to rank it up? It's so sad. You know, it's already November. We've done through pretty much all the school events now, so that frees you up for studying. It will be getting colder from now on, so wrap up warm and don't get sick. I mean it. If you even think you've got a fever, then go see the nurse. Speaking of the nurse's office. Dr. Maruki is going to be leaving us on the 18th. So. Wait! I need to get my confidant up! I need to max him out before he leaves! Was school always like this? Don't it feel kinda different than usual? You think? I'm getting a weird feeling too. What do you mean? It's like the people around us seem restless or something. It feels the same to me. I agree. Nothing seems unusual on my end. What about you, Makoto? Someone asked for me? Everything's normal over here! Is your name Makoto now? <laughs> we most certainly did not ask for you. <laughs> wow, Yusuke. Sorry, I just noticed the chat. I think everyone's just agitated by the Phantom Thieves rumours. Try not to be affected by the people around you. It's important to stay calm in times like these. Yes, but can I see Maru? No, I can't. Big sad. Oh, hey, the board changed again. No. They put our logo on the board with the red cross through it saying wanted and a pile of uh, 
a pile of shit next to it. Right, wow, thanks guys. I, I really appreciate that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap that episode up for you today. Don't want to just like overfill it with like confidant missions and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.